hey there what's up guys welcome to blender Wiz. and in today's video we're gonna learn how to model this coffee cup in blender and it will be a step-by-step -step guide so not wasting our time let's get started so let's start by deleting everything from the scene and i have a reference image which i have downloaded it from google so let me just load that here it is and it's a bit tilted so press n and inside the item uh, change the rotation to 0 x 0 y 0 and z to 0 now select the image rotate it at 90 degree on the x axis and uh, just reduce the opacity of the image grab it and uh, align it to the axis yeah this is fine okay now let's start the modeling so let's add a cylinder scale it down let's go into the wireframe mode place it here scale it up a bit and just place it here okay go into the edit mode select the top portion align it to the reference now select the top portion again and just scale it till here okay now grab the bottom portion extrude it on the z-axis and scale it again okay now we have the shape now let's add a loop cut scale it add a loop cut again scale it now add one here and one here so it will help us to make this handle as well just add one here as well okay now we have the basic shape of the cup maybe we can add more one more loop cut here and another loop cut here and then select this portion face select and now we can start modeling the handle so extrude rotate it along the y-axis extrude it again yes this is good extrude grab it along the z-axis and rotate it along the y-axis just make sure that it doesn't go out of shape okay looks good now extrude again grab it along the x-axis rotate it along the y-axis extrude grab and rotate extrude extrude again rotate it extrude again yeah okay this is good now let's see if the if we have the handle in shape or not yes it looks good go to the front view again now let's add some loop cuts to give our handle a shape one loop cut here maybe one more here let's align this as well 
we need one more here okay okay this looks good now no it's a bit thick i guess so let's go into the top view edit mode select the handle oh. yeah this part and just scale it along the y-axis well, let's see how it looks okay it looks good now perfect now we can maybe add a subdivision modifier increase the levels to three let's add a loop cut here one loop cut here let's first just you know delete this top face now instead of deleting we can just extrude it scale it down a bit so that we get the thickness of the cup and now you can just uh, extrude it again along the z-axis and scale it extrude it more and yeah scale it guess this looks good now we have the shape of the cup now let's add some loop cuts we'll add one loop cut here one loop cut here one at the bottom one here okay let's do it again let's add one loop cut here one loop cut here and loop cuts inside yeah okay so we have the cup now it looks fine now let's just add a plate maybe yeah okay so for the plate add a cylinder scale it down and scale it along the x and y axis a bit down yeah okay now select the top face extrude scale it inwards and just extrude it downwards yeah this is looking good now maybe we should extrude it more yeah so we have a nice looking plate here let's add a subdivision surface to the plate as well uh, shade auto smooth let's shade this as well now uh, let's add some coffee into the cup so to do that let's add a circle bring it up go into the edit mode top view and let's add a face to the circle bring it more at the top and yeah this will be our coffee that will be inside the cup let's save it again now let's add some texture to the coffee so go into the material properties add a new material go into the rendered view first and change this render engine to cycles and gpu let's add some lights this is the area light increase the brightness to let's say 100 okay now let's add the material to this 
So select the circle and change the base color to image texture. Open the image. I will provide the image in the description if you want or you can just go into the Google and search for coffee top view and you will get this image. So as we have added the image now you can see there is nothing. So we have to go into the UV editor tab first, go into the top view, press tab to go into the edit mode and let's align it properly first. This okay now let's go into the top view edit mode press u to unwrap and select project from view now select this circle down there and just align it properly yeah okay this looks good perfect just reduce the roughness and you can play with these values to you know make this thing more realistic but yeah I think this is fine now we should add a material to the cup as well so select the cup new material increase the metallic value a bit roughness yes to just play with these values until you get a perfect material for the cup so maybe increase the metallic value and decrease the roughness a bit increase the IOR a bit okay now the same material will go to the plate so click new and select what material was this material 3 and select material 3 so here's the cup and the plate now let's add a plane at the bottom maybe you can increase this to 500 uh, this is a lot 200 okay add one more light which will be here facing towards the cup and this can be 100 perfect okay wait okay this looks good now now let's apply scale to the plane first and then you can just search for a table material on the blender kit add-on and select any one of this let's see how this one looks okay not bad now this one is pretty good maybe you can just look for a spoon in the blender kit add-on and uh, yeah let's add this one spoon the skillet rotate it okay looks good now maybe just change the material to white now let's add a camera press ctrl alt and zero change the focal length to 95 and press n go into the view section and click on camera to view and zoom this out you can also add some grid lines to the camera so composition guides select thirds 
and center as well you can place the model right at the center if you want to do so okay this looks good now and maybe let's add some depth of field focus on the object cup reduce the f stock to 0.5 let me just change the render settings first this is like too much let's keep it 150 save it and render image so guys i hope you like the video and if you like it then do hit that subscribe button and also press like if you like the video and also tell me in the comment section what next should i model so thank you so much for watching see you goodbye